today we are going to see the sushi modeler and here it as you can see like we have gone through multiple modelers which helps us to simulate at various scale of the simulations the next higher scale or you can say the meso scale of the simulations which ranges from uh, around 10 nanometer to 100 nanometer of the scale and the time scale would be around 10 is to minus 8 to up to one second of the simulation so here with the help of the sushi modeler it works on the principle of the dynamic mean field method or it can be said as dynamic density functional theory so the typical structure characteristics uh, such as the length scale are the interface of the polymer melt or the polymer solutions so it helps us to simulate uh, the uh, interface structure of the polymer melts and it can be regarded as a simulator for the interfacial structure of the polymer system here we can simulate the heterogeneous systems as well for example microphase uh, separations or missiles uh, formations that can be simulated with the help of the sushi modeler here by analyzing the numerical data obtained by the sushi modeler one can obtain the physical quantities related to the interfacial tension critical missiles concentration and so on which helps us to uh, simulate the any chan topology of or the monomer sequence that can be uh, dealt here uh, with the help of the sushi modeler we can here set the effective bond length specific volume segments can be arbitrarily specified and as we move on to the tutorial i will uh, tell you where all these options can be specified how we can model a polymer where and how to uh, to calculate the flory huggins parameter which is very crucial for the calculation of the interfacial st uh, interfacial structure formations owing to the flexibility and the generality of the sushi it can be applied to wide variety of the problem and sushi is expected to be very useful in various uh, scenarios in the material designing so we'll start with the one case uh, where we'll be seeing uh, the simulations of uh, or you can say the interface formations between the polybutadiene and polystyrene dye block copolymer so the first step would be to create the monomer files for the butadiene and the styrene thereafter we will create an input file in the sushi modeler okay so let me start with the modeling of the input file once so as you can see the directory in which we are working is in the sushi uh, under the video so to start with we'll follow the same uh, algorithm as to right click onto the parent directory or you can go on to directly click the monomer modeler and it will open up prompt in the same directory where i am working or where it where it is visible so the first uh, model that we are going to build is the styrene and as we have seen in one of the previous tutorial where we uh, involved the dpd modeler there we i mentioned we have to use this specific uh, tab which is a group contribution tab and reason being here these molecules which are listed under the group contribution tab consist various uh, information about these particular molecules which will be very much helpful for the calculation of the chi parameter or the flory huggins parameter though you can use all other tabs or this particular periodic table to create your monomer irrespective of the group contribution besides you will have to calculate them separately uh, the other methods which are available for the calculation of the chi parameter for more information you can uh, see the previous tutorial on the dpd modeler where i have explained all the options which are available to calculate the chi parameter and the interaction parameter okay so here we are going to focus on to the group contribution method and how we are going to generate a phase separation uh, or you can say the interface structure to, uh, we are going to focus on to the formation of the interface structure between the two polymer that uh, we are going to study here in this particular tutorial 
so let's create it the first thing required would be the benzene so from the same tab we are going to look for okay phenyl ring benzene ring and then the ch and the ch2 and since we are going to uh, generate a polymer so we'll require terms as well so we are going to use hydrogen as a term to create a polymer from the monomer so now i'm going to select the single bond and so we are done with creating our styrene monomer you can proceed with the uh, applying the force field doing the molecular mechanics calculation or molecular orbital calculations these steps would be required when you want to calculate the flory huggins parameter or chi parameter by the other methods which is fragment molecular orbital method monte carlo method and uh, so these two methods if you want to calculate then only you will have to go with the calculation of the force field uh, calculation of the molecular mechanics calculation of the molecular orbital so i am going to skip the, those steps so next is again to create the butadiene similarly we are going to choose from the same group contribution tab and the tab terms as well let's choose the double bond to create the double bond between ch and ch and rest as single bonds so we are done with the generation of the butadiene as well the next is to create an input file in the sushi modeler so again the same steps just right click on it go to new and thereafter look for the sushi modeler and since we are going to generate an interfacial structure for the bit uh, interfacial structure between the butadiene and the styrene let's name it as st-bd so this is how this uh, the interface of the sushi modeler looks like this is very much familiar or very much similar to the dpd modeler if uh, so what we are going to do is we are going to register our monomers here you can just drag and drop or you can just select from the load monomer file select monomer go to the directory wherever it is installed uh, you have generated from there you can select and click on open and it will be registered so these are the initial steps that is that should be followed to generate uh, to register your monomers into the system and as i mentioned the reason being to use the group contribution tab there in the monomer modeler as you can see again one group contribution method is there various uh, database are available and the properties which i mentioned are linked into that particular molecules in the group contribution tab was the molar volume and the cohesive energy these energies are entered in the particular group of molecules for example ch2 phenyl and ch if i click on the set and then you will see the uh, those properties are fetched here into the properties of the group contribution matter so this is a group contribution method which has been uh, which has been these data has been collected from previously uh, published research articles so as you can see we have the database for the styrene similarly we have to look for the butadiene as well the next step is to check the properties as you can see the number of monomers segment molar volume segment molar volume qspr this one is for group contribution method so the various methods to calculate this parameters are group contribution method monte carlo molecular dynamics and qspr so these are the methods to calculate suppose uh, if particular model that you have built does not have the values from any of these databases so you can go ahead with the other methods which is available monte carlo molecular dynamics and qspr okay 
so right now we have the uh, the options or the data available for this particular tutorial so we are going to stick to it and the next thing we have to maintain is the segment molar volume it should be near about average of the both elements here styrene and the butadiene so if i create uh, make the number of monomers as three and update the structure you can see the segment molar volume has become 177 centimeter cube per mole similarly for the styrene if i uh, double the particular monomer it becomes 177 which is a nearby uh, value around or similar value to 177 and 173 okay so this was the another requirement which is to be satisfied via with when we deal with the interface uh, interfaces uh, generation or phase separation structure uh, simulations so once this is done you can go on to the segment pair uh, suppose if you have a three number of the segments available all the pair combinations will be registered here into the segment pair and next is to calculate this chi parameter which i mentioned before the calculation so here we have to enter the basis molar volume which is uh, which is the average of the segment molar volume of each element here styrene and the butadiene 177 and 173 which becomes an average of 175 and the temperature around room temperature which is 300 kelvin and if i click on to calculate all pair here we have the value which is required for the interfacial structure calculation or phase separation calculations the other methods are also available so you can go on to calculate uh, these chi parameter and for more information you can uh, check the previous tutorial in which i have mentioned all these steps which are required to calculate the chi parameter by the monte carlo method monte carlo fragment molecular orbital method molecular dynamics mixed system and qspr so we are done with the calculation or applying the properties and the calculation of the interaction parameter uh, the flory huggins parameter which is a chi parameter the next is to create your polymer system okay so here we are going to drag and drop into the working area of the styrene and the butadiene and to create an interfacial structure we will be needing the junction point so you have to select the junction point and then with the help of the bond formation you can just uh, just uh, make the bond between the styrene and the butadiene with the help of the junction and before that we have to increase the number of the repeat units then only it will become a polymers okay so for styrene we are going to make it as 10 so 10 monomers of the styrenes and for butadiene we are going to make it as 40 monomers of the butadiene so we are done with the creation of our polymers as well which are separated by the junction the next is to create an input file now we are done with the all the settings and all now the important step is to create an input file for the sushi for interfacial calculations here the best and the efficient or to time saving method is to first create or to uh, do the simulation for the two dimension okay uh, once we know whether our structure or the uh, the module that we are simulating here is stable under the particular situations then we can move for the three dimensional simulations of our particular uh, situation of the uh, interfacial calculations so the first is the simulation condition as i mentioned this uh, sushi modeler uses the uh, dynamic mean field method or the uh, dynamic density functional theory so here two methods are available one is the static and another one is the dynamic in this particular situation we are going to use the static method for the uh, uh, self consistent functional theory for the calculation here and all the calculation will be again as i mentioned based on the self consistent function theory and the delta s uh, is kept to be the number of, or you can say the steps for the calculations and the values of v and w are the convergence factor which should be entered depending upon the requirement of your simulations if your system is not converging 
uh, on a particular uh, simulations you can reduce the values of the v and w for here we are going to make it as zero v and w a uh, very small simple uh, simulations and interval steps uh, for the abort test and the maximum number of scf simulations so 50 thousands of scf steps maximum it can go before that it should converge otherwise we have to mend the values of v and w to converge our system the next uh, tab as i mentioned here the uh, best idea to go with the simulations of the interface uh, interfacial structure we should go with the uh, lower dimension simulation first so that we'll be knowing whether the i uh, whether the uh, face structure or the domain that we have created are stable or not so the uh, the mess we are going to create is for the 2d 0 to 16 and the number of divisions is again a 16 you can change all these values uh, depending upon your requirement and the boundary conditions we are going to make it as a periodic you can choose from wall and newman as well if you uh, if your simulations require that the next is the volume fraction so here we have to define the volume fraction of our the combination between the uh, both the elements uh, styrene and the butadiene we we are going to make our volume fraction to be 100 percent where all these uh, polymer that we have created it should be added into the simulation box next is the domain region so uh, the thing that i mentioned this is a two dimensional situation so only shape we can create is the cuboid and here into the cuboid we are going to create and see uh, island to see how uh, this particular one uh, polymer uh, is going to behave over the uh, simulations okay so the first thing we are uh, we are going to do is create uh, a domain uh, region okay so that would just uh, let's say uh, from 6 to 10 and even uh, uh, it should be inside and the component we are going to use is the styrene and you can visualize how this particular domains looks like so this is what we are going to do we are going to put the styrene at the center of the two dimensional mesh that we have created and we are going to run a simulation for two dimension to see whether the this particular uh, domain is stable or not okay so this was done with the uh, domain region density builder is not required and the last important tab is the chi parameter and depending upon the method that you chose for the calculation of the chi parameter you can choose it here we have used the group contribution method so we are going to stick with that so once you are done with the application of the simulation condition mesh volume fraction domain region and the chi parameter you can hit on to create an input file for your system okay so your input file is ready next go on to gear icon the engine we are going to use is the sushi start it and as you can see our system has converged in just 2200 of the steps scf convergence succeeded now we are we are going to see its stability just click on the styrene because we added an island of the styrene into the center of the mesh uh, two dimensional mesh that we created click on to see the results okay so this was the initial structure that we created see the butadi uh, the styrene island into the center of the two dimensional mesh once we run our scf calculation we can see our mesh is pretty much stable in two dimension now we are good to go for the three dimensional simulations so again what we are going to do is we are going to create an input file for our three dimensional simulations because all the simulations that we do would be three dimensional uh, simulations would be there where polymer system for material de uh, material designing would be there okay so uh, other tabs will be the similar okay the simulation conditions mess we are going to now needing the three dimensional simulations okay so we are going to run our three dimensional simulations with again the unit uh, starting from the 0 to 16 and divisions in 16 divisions are distributed in all three axes 
next is the volume fraction is similar as 100 percent now domain region is not required so we are going to delete it and here we require the density builder okay so now since it is a three dimension simulation so that's why we are going to need the uh, density builder and in spite of cuboid we are going to put two spheres as you saw in the two dimensional simulations the after the convergence the uh, island that we created at the center of our mesh got uh, you can say the convert after converging they became uh, collected at the center as well as at the uh, the three dimensional uh, center and the origin of the our uh, uh, sphere you can uh, sorry origin of our cuboid you can say a three dimensional cuboid okay so what we are going to do is we are going to put two spheres at those two particular positions because those were the very stabilized position for our styrene okay so we are going to put a sphere a spherical ball having a radius of two of uh, made of the styrene component click on ok and another at the center okay so center would be for example uh, our uh, mesh or the simulation is from 0 to 16 so the center would be around 8 right 0 to 16 so center would be 8 again we are going to add another sphere which will be at the center again diameter will be 2 again made of the styrene so we added a two spherical uh, ball or you can say the two spherical domains or the density at the center as well as at the origin of our uh, volume fraction in the mesh that we have generated there are other options are also available for example you want to uh, apply some obstacle into your simulation box for a particular situation where uh, uh, where in a three uh, we are designing the material uh, some obstacles are added into the added into the system to observe the effect so that can be done similarly for the mask and the again the chi parameter as it is so we are done with applying all the conditions simulation conditions meshes volume fractions domain is not required density builder and the chi parameters so once we are done with the simulations now we are going to rename it as a 3d system okay so create an input file we are done with the creation of the input file and again we'll run the simulations we'll wait once the simulation ends and i will show you the calculation or the analysis of these simulations okay so as you can see our simulation has been completed click on the as our simulation completed now we'll check the field how it has been developed as you can see it has pretty much came the same way as in the 3d simulation uh, 2d simulations that we performed okay so this was how it is it performed and next is we can see the field uh, plot it in x y direction the volume fractions how it has uh, been plot uh, the how it has been distributed into the simulation box and as you can see the zero component was zero component is the styrene and one is the butadiene okay and as the butadiene uh, lowers the styrene comes up higher so this shows the uh, volume fraction uh, distribution of both the components into to the simulation box okay so this was all about the formation of interfacial uh, structure formation between the two particular uh, components here styrene and butadiene we visualized and you can even uh, go on to the chemical potentials uh, plotting as well okay so 
since we haven't added any chemical potentials and all so we are going to skip it another thing you can visualize here is that isosurface contour or the volume drawing so okay so let's just uh, create for the poly uh, zero component if i click on execute as you can see how it has been it's just the visualizations okay so depending upon uh, the components that you have in your simulation system you can choose and replicate similarly for the isosurface contour okay so even you can choose the isosurface as well uh, isosurface value depending upon the uh, requirement and uh, next is the spatial correlation function calculation if you click on it and then click to execute then it will go on to calculate the spatial correlation function for a particular both the components butadiene and the styrene so this was all about the uh, sushi modeler that we have seen the interfacial structure calculation between the two particular uh, polymers butadiene and the styrene diablock copolymer thank you